All right, we're going to take this bean A10 head apart and uh, rebuild it and put it back together again. So this big metal plate does nothing except hold these in, so you don't need to torque this thing down like your He-Man. Screwdriver. Work these back and forth and they'll come right out. I'm gonna save these because we'll uh be replacing this rubber o-ring and putting these same ones back in. All right, old valves. These guys are a bit tricky because they got to come straight up. Otherwise they get wedged. There we go. We got to save these too. These are going to go back in. And that gets us to our first set of valve seats. Now, you can use a socket on an extension. I think FMC makes a specialty tool for it. I just turned this thing down. All you need is something about the same size as the hole in the middle of here so that you can just sort of wobble it in there and work it up out. And it's just pressed in on this rubber o-ring. We get replacements of those. Then got intake valves behind that. Then another set of screens that are way down in there and super difficult. So bad. The second set of valve seats. Sort of see what I'm doing from the bottom down here. There we go. Slip that right out of there. That's 
that fully taken apart. Now the important thing with these heads is right back in here where these sit is a machined surface. The, the cylinder it sits in and then this flat surface down here and then the outside valve sits in a cylinder right there. And you want to check those and make sure you've still got machined surface left. Because as time goes by, whatever you're putting through the pump is going to eat on this and slowly wear it away. And you'll eventually start getting blow by and then you won't be able to build pressure. And then it's time to buy a new head. But this one one on the right is not great but it's good enough the other side's fine and the bottom two are excellent so what you get in the rebuild kit useless instructions. Those are O-rings. Get your four shiny new valves and your four shiny new valve seats. So all we want to do is just tear this bad boy open. Set those down there. A little grease. these up because it will go a long ways towards making your life easier when you try and seat them in there. You got these guys. Just get out your pick. Try and get underneath here. Or alternatively, cut through it with your utility knife. Try not to cut your finger off in the process. There we go. Garbage. There's that. 
Okay. Take these two, and slide them in here. Just get them seated in there. Tap, tap. And they sit down in their home. Shouldn't take much force at all. There you go. Then, a pair of these going back in. side these ones can be a little fiddlier but they're not too bad and they just press down on top of those screens that one went in a little easier than I'd like it to but it should be fine Yeah. Those are pressed in. Not those yet. A set of screens. Back in the hole. That side too. Seated down in there. A couple of valves. Plugs for the bore. Tap, tap, tap. Take your retention plate. Back on the top. Snug her up. Bob's your uncle. All done.